Hey guys, welcome back to Postman API testing. This is Shorefall. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to test put and delete API request using Postman. So before we start, let's get back to our document. So this is our document. I hope that you are already familiar with this document if you have gone through my previous lecture. So please don't jump on this. You know, start from the scratch. So here is that these two row number five and six. This the two test over here. We have our base URL, our resource, and this is our endpoint or API endpoint. You can say uh, there is no query uh, parameter, but there is a path parameter. You can say the two is that path parameter over here. Okay, two is the path parameter, and then and over here the method is uh, the put and this is a request body since it's a put so put request it means you're going to update existing data to the database okay so you have to pass some data along with your request and then you're supposed to return you're supposed to have a, some response or return so your response body should have some similar information similar data that you have passed and also a status code like 200 okay and there will be some validating you know a script so that we can validate through our tool so okay so this is our this is the endpoint so we need this api endpoint let's go to our tool so here is our existing the project that we started you know we already completed this gate method and there's a po uh, the post now we're going to do a uh, put request right so just click on over here let's add a request so what would be the you record first is it's like you know update your your request name what would be the you know you can uh, put over here request name so we'll say update it update single user single user okay your method would be put and this is your API URL right and there there's no parameter definitely no uh, QA param uh, query parameter but you will need to pass a body because the body you have to pass some data it's like the data is going to be updated for existing user right so what type of data you have to pass over here body as a raw and then select JSON and over here it will pass so let's get back to over here what's the data this is the request body right so this is our request body so we can just copy this one paste it over here let's see what we have okay so we have ID so we there is a little bit you know mismatch over here so you have to make sure that you write the same so it's a key pair value so you have to id equals to two right so make sure you write the right code just uh fix the code here is as is it, as it is over here just to be careful when you copy the uh the code from our uh, doc over here it changed uh, some of the you know the quotation so to make sure that you know uh, you would you put it it's exactly the same format so so key and pair so it is usually in a string right and this is just number okay so here is so this is the email ID uh, and then you know so you have to make sure that the existing data this data should have this is the similar type of people you should have in your existing you know uh, existing uh, in a database like a specifically unique ID it should be matched with uh, one of the unique things like with the say example you have an ID unique ID is 822 so and then you know your uh, it will match with this ID because this ID is always unique or email address is unique and after that say example I'm, I'm just updating you know the data uh, whatever it was the name so assume that I'm updating the name okay sureful then Islam you know and then this so so in this case, I will click on send. 
okay and then as a response I'm supposed to see the same type of data you know as a response over here because you know it will this will update the existing user following the same ID so it it means when you see the response the same response it means you know it's been updated in our database so you're returning the same data with a 200 you know uh, status code right now let's get back to our doc so in our document here is what we're expecting so it's the same data the ID whatever the ID you know I changed the ID so you whatever the ID you can see you know where is matching and then you are expecting 200 status code pretty good and then this is the the validation right so validation let's copy the code and I hope that you already know how to do the validation through the postman tool and to write your validation test cases go to this tab and here is the code so first of all you know you can you can check definitely you can check the 200 status code that we did our before you know when you uh, when you did over here our previous other test cases so you can add this one definitely over here right the put over here so let's add that status code validation first valid the status code so we're checking the status code 200 for sure and then from the the same thing we're calling the purse method so that your this uh, response body uh, can translate can convert to a uh, to a JavaScript object and place on a variable response so we're calling the response and over here we're calling uh, first name we're matching the first name should be first name underscore name should be sureful and the last name you can verify the last name is slab or you can verify the email address you know it's totally up to you you know uh, what do you want you can add uh, the email address even I can say verify you know email right verify email and then over here you can say email last name there's a response dot email so this is email this is the email is our note right so response dot email so what should be the email okay email should be this right so intentionally I'm making a pass you know so and that's what this is the right response so we're, we're putting the test kit over here so that it both match and pass right so this is the email address okay save it and then run it again where you go if we go so how many test cases we, uh, we have one two three four four test cases you can check over here test result is a four all of them status code first name last name and verify email address right all of them it's passed okay so this user you know this the uh, where is the user so user this user this user right so this user so user ID 822 now got it with a new information so uh, probably the name has been changed whatever is the change it should you know reflect up there so in a real life you know you will check so this is the single so you will check this user again by the ID okay so you will put the ID over here whatever the ID so you should have another API so that through this API so example over here we have here it's like you know page two user so you may have you may will have another API address that will show all the user including this new you know the updated user so over here and then you will click this is this is only the API will show from the page two. probably not all the user so you need a API you know you will ask uh, uh, your developer to give you another API that will show you all the users so if you click on there it should it should show you the the new updated user also like you can see verify over here the updated new uh, you know the user you got updated it's also showing the updated data from all the user you know so but in our case we don't have that API so we uh, were not able to retrieve all the users so that we can see that the update information got whether it's reflect or not so this is another part of the you know the test when you are going to you know update any data uh, for existing 
user or existing data okay so that you have to do so this is all about the the put now it's a uh, delete okay so let's get back to our our uh, document over here so for the same this is this is our uh, in point for the document and then we'll delete for to delete also you have to pass some some uh, you know data like what user you want to in our case you know we have to pass one specific user that we want we want to delete okay so that you have to pass over here underneath that request body right so let's go over here so how to add so simply just add another request request so give a name delete single delete single user okay so what would be the your uh, method would be delete right here is the api url and then what would be the body so say assume that we want to delete the same user okay that we updated okay so you can do this so you can pass the same data or from here you can pass this is the data So for the delete, okay, let's let's pass the same data, right? Same, the user you have added, right? Updated, so you can pass the same data for the delete too. So you can delete that 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 the user. So to do this again, you have to uh, select the raw and your uh, your type would be JSON format your data. So this is the one, right? So this is the one we have, you know, add this. So just we just updated this user. So we're going to delete now this user from the database. OK, so click on send. Here we go. So you can see it's over here. It's not showing anything, but it's giving me message 204 no contain. So it's the server successfully what's successfully processed the request, but it is not returning any content so it's saying that you know it is successfully deleted but it didn't show anything uh, as a response body can we see that anything supposed to show on a response body no it's not supposed to as a success response body will not supposed to show anything as per our this requirement but in your case you know it's totally up to you up to, up to your you know developer if developer says a response body it will show you could be show any masses like yes delete was successfully whatever you know then you will verify that response body but in our case we're not expecting any masses anything as a response body so it's nothing and then we're expecting as a status code 204 right as a status code 204 we're expecting so this is our you know uh, this is so we see this the 204 is there right so in this case and also now we can just validate our test cases right our 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 response so our response only we can validate what we can validate we can only validate the status code which is 204 right so where to write the test cases just write the test case over here and this is our will say validating a status code so response code should be 204 so we know this it is showing 204 which is the expected uh, response code so we're going to test through our also validate through our tool so let's click on there here it goes if you go to the test result it is passed so it's matching the two of our expected validation and it's also shows on the response the status code to offer so it's matching and it's passed in real life you have to do one more test again you know you will go to your uh, api that shows all the user so example over here we have you know this is the uh in in point or api it shows all the user from page two this is not you know it doesn't show all the user it only shows the user who are belongs to page two but you know in real life you, you will have one api it will show you all the users or employees whatever so that you can place run again and you can confirm that the deleted user is not showing anymore over here on your list okay whatever the the you know your data whether it's a delete user or employee or you know uh, any element or any inventory items whatever it is it shouldn't show you 
from that in point from the you know, from the your API where you can retrieve all the list list of the event list of the you know uh, user or employee it shouldn't show so this is another part of the testing you have to confirm that the deleted you know user or, or employee has been completely deleted from your list okay so that's the way you are going to also perform the delete request through your postman I hope that you know it was very easy it's it's uh, and it's very understandable that's all for today stay tuned please subscribe like and share with others have a good one bye bye